Aloha, Richard Halverson here, and uh, we are uh, in assignment five here, uh, uh, replacing the availability.txt table uh, in this uh, Toastmasters website. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this server side API uh, in, uh, in Python. Okay, so I'm just going to create the API here, and then next. Next, uh, the next video, I'll show you how to connect up with Ajax. All right, so um, what we're doing is we have a um, a uh, a database here, and we have this availability table. And if you look at the structure, it's got two fields: a key field, which is you know the the key is the key of the the member, and then a date. A date, and the, and so this table is going to hold dates that the member is unable to attend the meeting, and so um, so the API needs to be able to accept uh, a key value and a date value, and then an indication whether you're setting it setting the date to be unavailable in which case you're inserting it in, into the table or uh, you are making the date available again in which case you would be deleting uh, a record out of the table so uh, let's start uh, with something that we've already a python python code that we've already created and uh, let's see actually actually we don't need to uh, let's create this from scratch uh, okay, so let's create a new file and let's name it uh, unavailable underscore API dot py. Okay, so now we've got this unavailable dot py. Let's open it up and it's a blank file. And so the first line of the file. Uh, says where the Python interpreter is. So uh, let me blow this up a little bit. So this is the first line of the file, and that says where on the server. And this is pretty standard. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to just say, uh, oh, the next line of the file is you have to uh, since since we're going to be doing this on um, a web server, we have to send out a header which says what kind of content is coming. So we have to print this header and it's going to have to say content type colon and then it can be like uh, text underscore or slash plain. That'll work. And then you want to put a, a new line character uh, and then and then let's print just to test this out. Let's print "Hello World." Okay. Now let's save this. And if we go to our website, unavailable.api.ph.py, we see it says "Internal Server Error." The reason for that is because we need to set available.py to change permissions world uh, execute group execute user execute so the permissions now are 755 change permissions now let's see if this works there we go hello world all right so we have a python program that works and so now let's evolve this into something that uh, will work for us uh, let's see we're gonna need um, we're gonna need to import I'm gonna put it up here import JSON and we have to import CGI because we're gonna read input from the from the URL and we're gonna import my SQL 
db because we want to read the database. All right, and then the first thing we want to do is we want to grab out what came in as name value pair parameters, form equals CGI field storage. And, uh, and then we want to check uh, there should be a, a date and an unavailable and a key. So uh, put a comment here. Date equals the date. Uh, unavail will equal zero or one, depending on on if available or not on that date. And key, which equals the um, key value for the member. All right, so uh, these have to equal something. So if if the uh, form variables came in that come in, if there's a dat a dat in form, and there's an unavail in the form, and there is a key in the form, then we want to grab out the date, and I'm going to use the same variable uh, name form that value, and we have the uh, key plus form key do this key value and we also have this unavail value which is going to be 0 or 1 and then we want to uh, connect to the database uh, and my DB we'll use that as the connector is my SQL DB dot connect and it's going to be to local host and uh, my username Just paste this in here like this. Username, password, and the database. And then I have to have this handle here. My I'll call it my cursor equals mydb cursor. And then now, uh, now is when I test if unavail equals one. That means that I want to insert, I want to make sure that the date is in the database table. So my SQL statement is going to look like this, replace availability uh, set key equal to key, as I have to do it this way, Dunt, and it's a plus sign in Python. That's the variable, uh, and then I'm going to close the single quote, and then I want to say unavailable, which is the date field equals single quote, close quote, plus dat plus close single quote and that is the name of the tape it's a uh, key and unavailable okay key and unavailable all right so that's the SQL statement and let's execute this okay and uh, and we'll assume it works Let's set let's set a status variable equal to the date concatenated with 
set uh, as unavailable. Okay. And uh, that's fine. Else, if unavailable equals zero, then we want the SQL statement to be delete from availability uh, where key equals plus key plus and unavailable equals plus DAT plus so that's the SQL statement to delete the record if it's there and then to execute it we do this that SQL statement and then we're going to set the status equal to that plus uh, set as available. All right, and then let's just print the status. Okay, I'm going to uh, save this, see if this works. And let me go to here. This is this was that. It's ooh, internal server error. Hmm. All right, well, uh, the easiest way to solve a problem like this is to, to execute this script from the command line. So I'm going to open up my Bitvice client. Uh, and you can download Bitvice right here. And uh, just download it and install it. Or you can use Mac versions. And uh, but anyway, uh, so so you download it and you in the you open up the client and for the host server you put your the URL your server URL and then you put your username over here and then you put your password and uh, just log in and doesn't doesn't didn't like that password what happened. All right, uh, and so uh, next we can open up a command. Oh, here it is. This thing opens up. If you don't find, click on New Terminal Console, and you can open up as many as you want. Anyway, um, so uh, we can execute this from the command line, and so where we are is we are at the root, and so you want to cd in the public underscore HTML and CD into Toastmasters 5 0 5 and we're trying to get unavailable underscore API dot PY to work so let's Python unavailable API dot PY and it doesn't like something on line 23 unavail all right let's see what that is mm -hmm.
Oh, if. Oh, no, 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 no. It's elf. E L I F. There we go. Save. Now, does it work? Status is not defined. Status or status. Hmm. Oh, all right. Well, it's possible it's not defined. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to do L, else. Um, status equals that or unavail or key not defined properly. There. Will this work? Yeah, okay. There we go. So now uh, this should work. Yes. Okay. So now we should be able to put um, dat equals uh, what's today's uh, the March second of March. So March fourth, twenty twenty, oh three, oh four. Ampersand unavail equals one. Ampersand key equals rh1. Enter. And it says set to unavailable. And now when we look at availability, we see nothing. Uh, let's see, are we writing in the correct place? Postmaster is 05. Okay, I had to do some testing, and uh, this is what I finally ended up with that works. And so I've got the, uh, I, first I print out the content type, and I grab the, uh, the form value, the form variables. And, uh, and then I test to make sure that they're all there. The date has to be there, the indicator whether we are setting that date as being available or unavailable and then the key that's uh, who to set it for and then uh, so if they're all there then uh, you're able to uh, grab them out as variables and then we connect to MySQL and you have to make sure you get your credentials right and uh, and then you have to uh, uh, execute this connection here and and you, you you get back a handle for that and uh, uh, or a connector and then you can go ahead if if the unavail is one which means you're setting it which means you're inserting a record into availability for that date for that that uh, individual and uh, so that adds if it's not already there if it's already there it just it just adds it again so that's what the replace is. You avoid the problem of inserting a record that's already there. Uh, and, um, and then you execute that, and then you display out the message, this, the status. And this status is going to be sent back to the browser, uh, which is going to display it. Uh, if unavail is, is zero, which means there should be a record in there setting this date as being unavailable, uh, you want to delete that record. So that's what this does. So this this deletes the key date. Um, and if these were not specified properly, then it displays out a message saying 
one or more of them uh, was not defined properly. So, um, so if you ask, so now you can actually run this, and uh, here is an example of 2020. I'll do uh, 4 16. Let's say I don't think I've set that date. Uh, press enter, and it comes back. And because it's doing JSON, it's not a valid JSON, but raw data looks like this. So now 416 is set as unavailable. And we go back to our database table availability, hit refresh, and now we see 416 is added. We can add 417 by just going like this, 17, enter, and now 417 is set to unavailable. We hit refresh, and we see now 417 is there. We can remove 417 by setting avail equal to 0. And now it says it's set to available. And we, when we go back here and hit refresh, we see that that 417 is now gone. I just want to point out that that uh, in my debugging, um, I I wanted to be able to use the command line Python to be able to debug. The problem is, is if you don't have any form form variables, it just displays out this error message here. Uh, and so what I ended up doing was uh, adding this code in right here, where if this wasn't true, if it wasn't true that all these values were specified, then it does the else case here, and it just sets them. It sets them to something. And then uh, I, I put if true here, so it's going to execute this code no matter what. And that way, I'm able to, I'm able to test it without passing in any form variables. So let's change this to 7. I don't think I've got a 7 in there yet. And save this. And now I can execute this code with no form uh, values and enter. And it actually executes, and it says 7, 1 is unavailable. If there were errors, if there were any errors in the Python, then they would be displayed out here. And as you can see up here, I was debugging and got some errors. So, uh, so that's going to close out this video. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to how to connect your your API, whether you made your API in PHP or in Python, how to connect it up to the to the form here, and so we can actually see it working. Thanks for watching.